working. Uh, I think it's a great uh, place to be uh, uh, talking after the sky and uh, partially uh, supporting and co complementing the story, what we just heard. So uh, my name is Robe Somlanen and I'm heading our media business at Ixonos. Uh, we are a creative technology company, so uh, we are building new uh, innovative next generation digital solutions uh, for, for our customers uh, based on really superior user experience, technical feasibility and business viability. Our customers include companies such as uh, Discover, ESPN, uh, Warner Brothers, Turner, Al Jazeera, NBC, uh, HP, uh, Microsoft, Samsung, LG, and so forth. The list goes on. So uh, there's been a, well, a lot of talking about the uh, OTT and subscription-based uh, business models. But uh, yeah, I said I will continue more talking about the uh, advertisements because I feel that it's, it's going through a, a more dramatic change. And I think it's also, let's say, a little bit more unfamiliar with the uh, operators uh, who are also quite, quite a big part of the crowd. So, well, uh, we, we, we've all heard this. 50% of the advertisement works, the other one doesn't. Uh, last year, uh, I think well, globally we spent almost 600 billion uh, uh, USD for the advertisement. So we wasted 300 billion. That's quite a lot of money. And actually, I, I think we are even uh, doing worse than that. C currently, I think the... Uh, 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 especially in digital, the, uh, the return on the advertisement revenues is, isn't uh, where it should be. Yeah. So uh, just uh, going a little bit uh, back and see, like, uh, just to kind of uh, tell where we, where we currently are. So 30-second ad, it's been around for the 30 years, or so for the 70 years. It's still the best way uh, to tell a story and to sell a product. But it was created uh, in the time for the ma mass audience, when the TV had the ma mass audience, when you only had, a, let's say, a one or two channels. And you didn't have the data, which, uh, for example, Sky is now uh, having and co collecting. So, in a way, we, we, are, we are getting better and better with the new technology innovations, to really to measure and track and target and profile. There are a lot of uh, startups, a lot of providing innovation. Uh, the traditional players, uh, uh, such as Cantar uh, uh, Media, they, 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 they've been investing on the technology and so forth. So uh, we, we will be seeing a lot of improvements in that area. Of course, like there are challenges like, okay, well, uh, people are using several different devices. How do you actually track the user uh, across those devices? and know that it was actually this one who started the journey after watching the TV ad and then continues on doing something on his mobile and then makes the purchase transaction on, on his laptop. Uh, so in a way, I think that we are seeing a lot more opportunities uh, to, make, to make it better. Uh, but then on the other hand, well, uh, TV is uh, doing well, but the digital stuff doesn't really work. Uh, we are complaining that the digital uh, ads are really well, we, we are, uh, as a media company, we, we are not making money on those. Uh, the, uh, the value for those uh, is so small co compared to the uh, uh, TV. And, well, I think that's right. Like, it should be. In a lot of cases, they are even overpriced. Uh, this is a, actually, this is a pre-roll for a, uh, one of the uh, videos that we have on YouTube. Uh, well, I, I don't know who, who bought the advertisement for here. But the, uh, the creative team did a uh, crappy job. Uh, it's been going on for 11 seconds. I have no idea who's advertising there. I've been just focusing on the bottom right-hand corner when, when I can skip it. And that's what mo most, most of the digital ads are, annoying and uh, destroying the experience. Of, of course, there are uh, good, good, uh, good ads, good creative teams. Uh, who, who do understand the possibilities, who can take the advantage of the platform, like uh, who are putting the user uh, to the center. Like, for example, this is a uh, uh, Volkswagen app for the uh, new Beetle. I actually didn't need to skip the ad. They made it that short that it skipped itself. So uh, the landscape is shaping. Uh, there's been, uh, well, 
a lot of a discussion whether TV is dead or not. Uh, I, I wouldn't claim that it is dead, uh, but uh, well, it, it might. And uh, let, let me give you a cu couple of uh, examples. So, the consumer uh, mind share and viewing habits have changed. Uh, you know that the uh, iPhone 6 costs more than a 60 inch uh, LG smart TV. And which one is uh, more expensive to produce? Which is the product that the, uh, people desire, what they have, what they are carrying all the time, which actually knows uh, who you are, what you are doing, and then, well, enables to collect the data uh, for, for targeting. So, in, in a way, uh, if I was a, uh, a brand uh, spending money on the ad advertising, I would really be interested on uh, kind of trying to figure out, okay, well, how can I utilize the better uh, the uh, information which is co collected with the more personal devices, even though that, let's say, the uh, cable companies know that, okay, yeah, it's in this particular household, but still we don't know who's actually there in the living room watching it. And that's, like, you really need to be go targeting to the individual persons, not the uh, mass audiences, with most of the products. Uh, another thing is that the uh, viewers are changing much uh, quicker than the industry. Uh, there was a study that 92% have changed their viewing habits. Uh, well, I, I think we, we all have. Uh, we already well, uh, in the, like, heard about the discussions about the uh, uh, sh 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 shorter, uh, shorter duration of uh, uh, videos which are becoming more, more popular, especially with the younger generation, but also the way how they are consuming the content. I have a, a four-year-old one uh, who loves Legos. Uh, he's watching uh, uh, Lego videos uh, from Net Netflix uh, on Xbox. And, well, he's having his iPad and watching those uh, from YouTube and actually playing with the Legos at the same time. And then, like, based on those videos, he's actually selecting which is the next uh, box that he wants to have. Amazing opportunity to, to monetize when you're putting the building box correctly. Uh, we are also, uh, like, well, uh, talking about the uh, failures uh, in the second screen. And, well, that, that, that has been the case. Uh, I th everyone knows the uh, statistics about the uh, well, usage of the second screen, so almost everyone ha is using those, but 90% of the activities have nothing to do with the actual content playing on the uh, bigger screen. So, uh, to really start building the uh, good second screen solutions, first of all, you, you need to go to the producers. Uh, you, you, you need to Im figure out, okay, what, now, now we have these the technologies. What could we do to actually improve the storytelling rather than, okay, well, now we have this uh, show called uh, The Voice. How can we build a second screen app for it? If it is an add-on, it doesn't work. So really, trying to figure out it earlier on, like how do these bits and pieces fit together? How do they support each other? Uh, as, as I said, well, uh, as an industry, we are always uh, slow to move. Uh, I, well, uh, was it like uh, we, we just heard that the, uh, well, the TV uh, advertising was, was it like, uh, 50 times larger than the vi uh, vi video advertising for, for digital. Uh, any, anyway, uh, like, uh, we, we have been talking about the same things. We, we, we spoke about the year of mobile for 10 years. Is it already here now? Or is it, are we still waiting for it? Uh, but the uh, fact is that the consumers have already changed the way how, what, what they are be how they are behaving. And the industry need to really speed up uh, speed up and start ma ma making, the, making the changes. Uh, the good thing actually uh, here is that like if, if you look at the TV uh, advertisement revenues, it, uh, it's, well, it's not growing, but uh, at least it's not declining. And the digital is growing, so it, it creates growth opportunities uh, if you are doing it well. Of course, uh, there is a lot of competition. Uh, the uh, di digital uh, um, uh, revenues are mostly going to the well, uh, poor uh, di di digital players like Google, Facebook, 
take, taking the uh, la largest parts. So, uh, so really some adaptation for, for that is uh, ne needed. And then like uh, as a, uh, let's say as a media industry, as a TV industry, what, what are we doing there? We, we are, oh, anyone here from Twitter? Uh, well, uh, ev everyone knows, well, Twitter has done really good uh, job on claiming that they own the social TV. But really, uh, adding a hashtag, is that social TV? If it is, then, well, uh, I don't think that I'm going to have a job much longer. We, r we are really going to go much beyond that. And d does it really make sense uh, for a, uh, a TV company whose main re uh, revenue source is advertisement actually drive traffic to Twitter? so that someone else, uh, so that the advertisers can uh, throw money to Twitter instead of uh, providing them uh, advertisement packages. The same thing was, uh, for example, uh, the, one of the uh, big uh, US channels. Uh, they enabled uh, w voting directly uh, from uh, google.com ho homepage. Why? They, they didn't know who, who, was, who were voting. Uh, they didn't get, uh, get the uh, people to come to their site. Of course, it, yeah, it was easy for the users. But like, well, wh wh why are you just uh, driving your, uh, why are you letting your future competitors to build the relationship with the audience? So, uh, I, I think this is uh, familiar uh, for all of you. In, uh, for, for the last, well, uh, 70 years, really the money has been coming from the, uh, from the display, uh, from the content, from the subscriptions. But mo more and more, uh, we should start focusing on, on data, because data is the thing which is valuable. It's the one which actually makes uh, the uh, uh, display more, more valuable. It helps you uh, to acquire the right content. It, makes, it enables you to create better content. And then when you actually can create some actions, then uh, the, uh, your advertisers are going to be much happier when you can actually provide them leads, tr uh, transactions, conversions, instead of uh, number of the eyeballs. So uh, let me tell you a couple of examples of the things what we have been uh, working on during the last uh, two years. So uh, I don't know if, uh, but how, how well you know the uh, AJ Plus. Uh, AJ Plus is uh, Al Jazeera's uh, recently launched service targeting for the C generation. Uh, it's built on the uh, uh, current TV which they acquired a few years ago. And the, uh, well, the C generation, it's uh, the extremely technically savvy, uh, really uh, de demanding, uh, but then when they are getting something, or like when they see that, okay, yes, th these guys really are, are, uh, are interacting with us, uh, th these guys are serious with us, then they are also re really re re rewarding. Uh, but the challenge, like the challenge with them is that they have an uh, attention span uh, that is shorter than a goldfish has, which is uh, eight seconds. So you really need to uh, get their attention uh, in, a, in a matter of uh, seconds. So the real, really, I uh, uh, think what I like uh, when working with uh, AJ Plus was uh, kind of also getting the content creation team to think about the really mobile first, the, uh, the digital first. So it wasn't that, okay, yes, we, we have this content which we produced uh, for the big screen and let's just uh, try to make it run on the smaller one. But really kind of, okay, well, how, how do you uh, get person's attention? How, how do you uh, surface the content? How, how do you, so, like, uh, so the different things that might be interesting for that person. And if he is interested, then he can start uh, digging deeper and deeper and deeper. And then maybe uh, uh, st start sharing it, start, start interacting. Uh, start taking uh, part into the conversation. And what's uh, AJ Plus doing here? Of course, like, they, they are learning how, how can you uh, produce new type of uh, co content? How can you really start building the direct relationship uh, with, with your uh, viewers, turn them into the uh, participants? How, how can you start, uh, let's say, collecting data? But by, by, with collecting data, of course, like, you, you need to be careful. Like, you, you need to have the trust because if you don't have the trust, the users are not going, uh, go, going to like it. So it's uh, really in enabling them to do a lot, a lot of uh, 
amazing things in the, uh, in the future, which uh, I might be uh, telling you the next year, but not, not yet. Uh, an another one, uh, sports. Uh, uh, we, we've been working a lot, with, for example, uh, with, with ESPN on, ESPN on uh, uh, figuring out, okay, well, what, what can you do around the sports? And the, in sports, you have a, a perfect audience. Uh, the fans are extremely engaged. Uh, they are willing to spend money. And they, they would do whatever they want with, with their team. And then, uh, like, how, how can you actually... And there, there is so much data available which actually enhances... Uh, the uh, uh, view viewing experience, which really also then, uh, like, if you can provide a good, good, good additional support, good additional experience, people will definitely continue subscribing uh, to your services, uh, and they might even pay some extra for it. And it also uh, brings up alternative uh, monetization models, but I'm talking on, on the next slide. But then there's actually also the uh, a possible risk if you're not doing it correctly. Uh, TF1 uh, bought the uh, li license rights for the uh, World Cup last year. I, I don't know how many tens of millions they paid for that. O obviously, they were counting on uh, having a good, good ad advertisement re revenues. And they also got the uh, FIFA app, uh, which came with the li license rights. But then uh, Equip, which is the... Uh, uh, the large uh, sports uh, and newspaper, they created a better second screen experience with, where the uh, volumes and the traffic was uh, several times uh, larger than with the official TF1. And then actually some of the advertisers, also the, the uh, official advertisers uh, for the World Cup, they were actually uh, redirecting some of the advertising revenues to uh, Le Equip. So in a way, like if you are spending uh, millions and millions or even billions on sports revenues, M make sure that you are complementing those with your di digital uh, uh, of offering. Uh, another one, which actually takes it uh, e e even further, uh, we, are, we are currently working with a couple of customers, uh, one in Middle East, one in China, and one in the Nordics, on really turning TV commerce uh, into the reality. Like there are a lot of things, let's say, uh, around the sports, uh, around the uh, cooking, around the travel, where, you, where there are a lot of uh, interesting things what the people are seeing on the screen. So how can you easily, let's say, uh, take a note? I, I like that. And when you can actually uh, do it directly from there, uh, provide a lead for well, uh, Amazon or someone else and get your commission on it, or perhaps uh, start uh, running your own stores. So, the message what I really uh, what, want to give here is uh, let's start focusing on the stuff that matters. We should be ready to drop the annoying ads. We, we, we really kind of uh, are in a perfect position, but in a perfect situation, kind of still uh, business is doing pretty well. There are growth opportunities. So let's have a bit of a courage, have a little, of a little bit well, little bit of an internal push, like what Sky is doing, on really uh, taking these uh, ad advertisement uh, uh, opportunities to, to the next level, and not just take the e easy route uh, and continue uh, as we've been doing for the uh, last last 50 years on uh, se uh, selling uh, selling eyeballs. Because well, uh, if uh, let's say if the traditional media companies are not, not doing it, the new new players will do it. And then, well, uh, when your ca cash flow is turning negative, it's going to be quite a bit more challenging to invest on, uh, on, uh, on, on new services. So uh, the digital disruption is really happening. And well, he here are really the steps what, I, what I'm recommending each and every one of us considering. So as I said, let's forget the disturbing advertisement. Let's start improving the storytelling by adding the uh, uh, di digital p part into it, so that it's not an add-on. It, it's really in integrated uh, straight from the beginning. We, we need to start building direct uh, relationships uh, with, with the consumers. We, we cannot afford on just having uh, 500, uh, 5 million viewers. 
we, we need to know the, the names, the, all, all sort of the demographics, because otherwise they are not valuable for our, our advertisements. But then we also need to engage them. We need to earn, the, earn their trust. This is going to be a journey. It's, uh, there are going to be a lot of experiments. Some of those will fail. Su su some will su succeed. But uh, it, it's something that, that has to be done. Thank you very much.